So putting it into the, oh, I can do this at home now. Put it into the resources. Um, yeah, so the widget, it's still not coming across. No, it's, it's really stuck. Yeah, it really doesn't like anything, does it? Sorry, my. <laughs> Got the white screen of death now. This is not my laptop because I, I don't have a serial port on my laptop, so I had to use this one that lives here. So, yeah, the spaghetti, uh, the, the, just while this is getting itself organised, the marshmallow challenge is really quite a good way to get kids involved in activity. So, it's just you give them a certain number of, of, of pieces of um, spaghetti, you give them one marshmallow, one metre of tape, and one metre of string. And the competition is you give them whatever length of time you want in the activity that he runs in the video. Um, they give them 18 minutes to build the tallest structure that supports the marshmallow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it, and so it's a limited, so the good thing about the activity is it uses spaghetti, mm. but it also just uses a piece of, so it's a metre of tape, a metre of string, and then a marshmallow. And <coughs> again, and still getting itself organised. And as soon as it does, I will show, I'll show you the start of it anyway, um, and then I won't show you the whole thing. It only goes for nine minutes. It's one of those shorter TED Talks. Um, but it's really quite interesting. But all the paperwork and stuff will be in that resources folder that I'll give you the link to, and you can and the video will be there too. If you but if you just Google it straight away, it comes up on YouTube, so it's not a problem. And it really has carved it, hasn't it? This video. That's just like my big Mac presentation from years ago. Here. Same thing. Just oh, really? Well, here it, we go. It died. It had to be rebooted. Then it decided it needed to do an update. Oh, no. Then it had a virus infection. Then. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to do a professional pre uh, presentation. <laughs> no, about three or four, just stop, 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 stop. I won't, I won't, I might, I'll play it this way. That's yeah. it, So, yeah, I just, that dual split screen thing, come on. Yeah, so, we'll just watch the first bit of it, just to give you an insight. But again, it's, if you just Google him, so Ted Wujic, uh, Marshmallow Challenge, it's called. But again, I've got the actual video on the... Several yeah. years ago here at TED, Peter Stillman introduced a design challenge called the Marshmallow Challenge. And the idea is pretty simple. Teams of four have to build the tallest freestanding structure out of 20 sticks of spaghetti, one yard of tape, one yard of string, and a marshmallow. And the marshmallow has to be on top. And though it seems really simple, it's actually pretty hard because it forces people to collaborate very quickly. And so I thought this was an interesting idea and I incorporated it into a design workshop and it was a huge success. And since then I've conducted about 70 design workshops across the world with students and designers and architects, even the CTOs of the Fortune 50. And there's something about this exercise that reveals very deep lessons about the nature of collaboration and I'd like to share some of them with you. So normally most people begin by orienting themselves to the task. They talk about it, they figure out what it's going to look like, they jockey for power, then they spend some time planning, organizing, they sketch in, they lay out spaghetti. Uh, they spend the majority of their time assembling the sticks into ever-growing structures, and then finally, just as they're running out of time, someone takes out the marshmallow, and then they gingerly put it on top, and they stand back, and ta-da! They admire their work. But what really happens most of the time is that the ta-da turns into an uh-oh because the weight of the marshmallow causes the entire structure to buckle and to collapse. So there are a number of people who have a lot more uh-oh moments than others. And among the worst are recent graduates of business school. It's amazing. They lie, they cheat, they uh, get distracted, they, and they produce really lame structures. And of course, there's teams that have a lot more ta-da structures, and among the best are recent graduates of kindergarten. <laughs> and it's pretty amazing, as Peter tells us. Uh, not only do they, do they produce the tallest structures, but they're the most interesting structures. So, and so on. So it's a not a bad way just to start, but it's a really good activity. Um, I What's use his it. name again, sorry? Tom Wujic, W U J U C. E C. E C. Is it? Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, E C. But as I said, it's on the. It'll be on the. So here it is. Oh, no. Oh, because it's on the. Duplicate. I'll just do it this way, and I can't kill anything. No way. So yeah. So W U J U C marshmallow. So this is this is just a. I've just pulled it off from the USB, but this is on Dropbox, and you're welcome to use it as you see fit. Um, and there are other resources as well, which will go up there. 
Um, so yeah, so there's also um, the slides of his, so he's, uh, he's created some slides, um, which is what you saw, so there's a PDF of those as well, which is on the website, uh, which is on our um, Dropbox. Um, now this is going to really freak out, I reckon, so I probably shouldn't have done it that way. <sighs> no, it really doesn't like me today. The problem is I'm not connected to the web. I might see if I can connect to my mail now. I'm just going to what my password is. Because it's it wants to authorise PowerPoint. It's on my laptop, so. Yeah, it's Office 365. Yeah, yeah. 365. Yeah. Nope, that's not my key. No, it's not going to help. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I wish I could connect my own laptop. I swear I knew, that I knew somebody else's. Does the competition run at the same time each year? No, it's later this year for lots of various reasons, which um, are not important. Normally, it's it's um, normally it's in August, September, but we're running it a bit later this year. Um, but in saying that, um, I'm, I am going to send out some information and find out whether what times suit. I mean, no time ever suits everybody. Uh, we tried it. We in the past we've run it in. Um, in engineering week so which is like 13th of August in that sort of time frame um, it actually doesn't suit me very well at all because I've just come off five um, projects plus school um, so the time we're actually doing it now which I've got the dates for and I'll show you with is um, actually suits me a lot better but it may not suit school so we're just going to see how things go to be honest with you um, another activity you can do is the straw bridge challenge now engineers Australia used to have a website called EngQuest they pulled it off at the moment which is really annoying because um, they're redoing it, but it's actually a really good website with a lot of really good activities and ideas in it, but you can't access it. But their Strawbridge Challenge, I do have a copy of the PDFs and stuff for that, so that's again on that, it'll be in that link that I send out to you. That's another really good activity where they can play with straws. It's not the same materials, but they can, they can work with structures, because working with spaghetti is not the most fun. Like, it's fun, but it breaks and it's hard to do. Because um, once it breaks, you bug it. So, um, so if you want to start them with straws, it's not a bad way to get them to start to think about trusses and, and building girders and, and having a bit of a play. Um, so that's not a bad way. And as I said, in the resources folder, um, that the information about that is in there as well if you wish to use it. Um, so what over, the, over time, we had a, about five or six years ago, um, a very, very keen QUT undergrad engineer decided to participate. Back in the day, Tish used to run it for undergrad engineers as well as high school. So he decided that he'd do a whole lot of testing um, and did some stress testing and all sorts of things about spaghetti um, and did some loading. He tested a whole heap of different glues and looked at their advantages and disadvantages of the glues. Um, so he tried the PVA, he tried hot glue, um, and he tried super glue. Okay. Um, and you can use whatever brand you like, there's no brand restrictions. Um, the problem with super glue, as you know, is it comes in really tiny little tubes. You can get the bigger bottles, of, obviously, but um, it tends to be a bit expensive. This was the old rig, so don't ignore that. This was an example of people um, used to create arches, and they still can. Um, this was, but you can see the lot of work that's gone into this. Um, to get it to where it was. He did some, the problem with um, spaghetti, as you know, is it's, um, it breaks very easily and as soon as you bend it, it starts to stress um, and you get some defects. Um, and that doesn't have a deck. No, that that's, one's there. That's more just a load bearing structure. Yeah, if they, if they, yeah, that's exactly right. And so up until two years ago, they could pretty much do whatever they wanted within reason in terms of the structure. But we changed the rules last year so it had to have decks. So the, so the winning, which I'll talk about later, the winning mass last year was way less than what it was the previous years, but only because of that change in the rules, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, is it necessary to build a prototype? Probably yes, if you have the time, because it gets the kids um, really going into it. If you're interested in really going into some details, those three websites, particularly these two, um, there's some resources on some trust tech, some, some software that you can build some trusses in and, and do some testing in that respect and, how, and see how things work. Um, which is really, this Trust Simulator does that and they're free. So, and again, you'll, be at the, you'll get this PowerPoint so you can just go 
can get those down um, those links. I checked them all. This one has just some information about spaghetti on building a kite, but it talks about the, the, the properties of spaghetti and so forth. So while it's a different activity, it uses the same material. Um, if you did want to try um, making an arch, you can make a frame and then break the spaghetti and then glue it into a frame. You can't obviously use the frame in the construction, but just in terms of the formation um, that you can do. But as you said, as we said earlier, if you wet it and then let it dry, it becomes a lot more brittle. So it's not advised. You can do it, but it's not going to work. Yeah, it's right. So they can yeah, just in case there's a steel member. <laughs> <laughs> when they no. break, you see it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we test. We test. Yeah, well, we test everyone to, yeah. to breaking strain. So yeah, yeah. 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 So there's no limit for them doing that. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to stop them if they want to wet it and bend it and then put it back, but it yeah, won't work. You can just tell them, you go for your life, absolutely, have a go, that's absolutely. fine. Yeah, well, absolutely. You're telling them to be blue in the face not to do something, that's when they actually do, but that's fine. Learning activity. That's exactly right. Um, so, yeah, we try, the, the recommendations is actually inspect your spaghetti if you have the time, have a good look at it, make sure you're not using floor pieces. It doesn't matter if it's not all from the same packet or the same brand, we're not going to know. So, you know, by all means, try and pick the best lengths if they have um, time for that. This is an example of one that, again, is not allowed. Um, so it also, sh the other thing about when you wet it, when you shrink, when you dry it, it shrinks. So it's not as long as it used to be. Um, so keep that. But there's no standard for how long it can be, is there? No, well, except for the, the rig, which I'll explain. Yeah, there's a minimum. No, no, there, no, well, there is because the rig's only got a maximum. I'll, I'll show you that in a right, second. Okay. Yeah, so there is a... There is. Um, but you're wasting a lot. But again, there's a lot of spaghetti you don't need to use. Out. Exactly right. Um, this is an example of using Boccatelli, I think it's called, the hollow spaghetti. It's not allowed. It's in the rules um, for reasons which are reasonably obvious. You can fill the sucker up with something and it makes it a lot stronger. So that's not allowed. Um, so just that's why that photo is there to show you um, that you can't use that. Um, now, you'll notice this particular picture up on the screen. So you know, we talked no. a little earlier about coating the spaghetti and so forth. Now, in my opinion, and I guess my opinion counts because I'm the one judging, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't believe that's coated. No. They've used excess glue and they've used a lot of glue, but I don't believe they've tried to cheat the system by coating it in the outside of the glue. So if if you're looking at your, your kids' bridges and you think, oh, you know, don't, unless they've obviously tried, literally painted the thing, Right with glue for the sake of painting. If they if they put a strip down as as Mike was saying to, to build it that way, then well that's that's fine. But if you believe that they've actually ob and if I think they've actually obviously painted the thing, well then we'll have a conversation probably. Um, I will still test every bridge, whether it meets the specifications or not, as much as I possibly can, because um, so even if a bridge is too heavy, I'll still test it. If a bridge is too short, I've got a, a big. Uh, part of the rig that I can put on to make the gap narrower. And I'll test it for them, but it just won't be part of the competition. So they'll get their results, they'll get their video, and I'll explain all that in a minute. Um, but it won't be part of the competition. So don't, so if a kid comes along and goes, it's too heavy or it's too short, that's, and they've got no time to fit, that's fine. Just they, please still get, encourage them to enter it, all right? And then we'll test it and we'll take photos of them and all that sort of stuff. They just have to understand they can't win the competition, because the, the narrow it is, it, it's sort of, it, it's, it's easier, it's different, it's a lot easier, it, you can hold more mass. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the reason, if you want to explain, if they're not sure. Um, so using formers, and that's the final thing. So this year we're testing in three locations. So the first one's this Friday, um, and the reason for that is um, because of their school program. So, um, but the main two ones that you guys would be most concerned about would be these two here. So um, the way the, the testing works is, and we're trying something different this year, so what I'd like to try and do <coughs> is I've deliberately picked times that um, will either give you time to get there or give you time to get back, depending on um, having, obviously, working at a school myself, I have an understanding of things like buses and, and so forth. So the idea will be that you can, when you register, if you choose to register, you just tell me how many teams. You don't have to give me names until the day. Um, I will ask, there will be a, um, a, a media release form. Um, only because we take lots of photos and I'll explain that process in a moment. Um, <coughs> pardon me. So they turn up, you don't have to have the whole team there. I realise logistically that may not be possible. It's lovely if 
someone from the team can be there because it's more fun, mm -hmm. but I also understand that, that cannot, that's not always possible. So what we then ask is that, okay, if you send at least someone representative, you can even send the bridge along with someone, that's, pro that's fine. As long as I know whose bridge it is, so I can match the test with the team, then I'm happy, I don't mind. So the idea will be is, and what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do with the time slots is that the kids who do come can watch all those bridges being tested at once. Once that session's over, they're most welcome to stay, but it's basically gonna be the same thing over and over again. So then the next session will come in and those kids who come in the afternoon session can watch all those bridges being tested. All right, and then all of the results are collated from all the testing locations and the winner will be announced about a week after that. So sorry, but is there mm. like a session later than 12.30 or something? No, it's at 12.30. So, oh. the session, so the session will be at 10 and at 12.30. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. it, it usually takes about five or six minutes to test a bridge, um, which you'll, like, because I'll explain why, because of the, oh, because of the rig. It takes a while to get the rig set up and to put on there and, and take the tension up. And then the other thing we do is we record them all. So we record every bridge test, like video record, and then I'll make that video available to your school. So you can take that video and do whatever you like with it, basically. Um, and it's just recording the bridge. So we take photos of the kids in front of their bridge and we do all that sort of, sort of stuff, holding a sign that says, you know, we're team, you know, whatever, from this school. Um, and then we go from there. Thank you very much again. That's all right. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you again. Yeah. Uh, wish teams all good luck. And I might, I might try and get out to one of those. That'd be great. I yeah. really appreciate that. Um, and you can send us email though. I will. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do, Catherine. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, so the idea is, look, if you can't make those times, that's not a problem. Like, we'll just work around you. But yeah. that's the, we just do, the idea would be that you would, we're trying to get as many kids there at the same time as we can. Um, so the, for you guys being at Shawncliffe, it, you have the option. Yeah, I was just sort of reading, I was thinking 10 till 12. No, 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 so they'll be testing at 10 o'clock and then a second session at 12.30. And then by 12.30, depending, like last, like on each of those days, we probably test 30 to 50 bridges a session. Um, so last year we had 180 something bridges to test across, really? four, across four locations. Um, this year we're not going to North Queensland for uh, lots of reasons. Um, now I can say the reason, <laughs> the reason that um, the, the, the competition this year is much later than normal is because TMR had to go through a whole different process of sponsorship. Government changed the rules um, and Catherine is the lady who got it all true and we didn't find out until really late and I couldn't commit until that blah blah blah. So that's why it's later. <laughs> Normally it's in August. <laughs> so just on mm. the for budgeting, yeah. including bus trips and everything, Mm. For next year. Yep. So I'm hope yeah, well the submission's in with them, so I'm hoping it'll be in August. Okay, so it might be around the same time. It'll time. be back. Put something in around then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I would like to move it back to engineering week because it works well then. That's the one you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But again, the, if there's issues yeah. on yeah, we can we can work I'm I'm flexible, I really am. The other option too is um where 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 practical and reasonable I can you can either borrow the rig and do, like if, you, if for whatever reason you don't want to participate in the competition but you want to do something at your own school, like a Bulimba State School for example, um, borrow the rig for their STEM week and they get they just do an activity and they just borrow it and take it and come back and drop it back to my place, it's not a problem. So that sort of thing is option as well. Obviously we'd rather you keep the competition yeah. but you don't have to, you know. The idea is just getting kids involved, that's, that's really the key. So there's prizes, um, so $1,000 for the first, for the winner. Um, the thousand dollars gets given to the school and the school then chooses what they do with it. Um, pretty much every time so far the school gives it to the kids. But I haven't actually heard of a school not doing that but that's completely that's, that's your call as a school. I can't tell you what to do with the money. I can only I have to give it to the school because generally there's more than one kid in a team and if I give it to a kid I can't guarantee that kid will give it to everybody else. I mean, you would hope they would, but I, I got no guarantee <coughs> on that. Whereas, like, the, so the check will go to the school, and then the school will divvy it up as they see fit. Okay. Um, so what we also do is to encourage your middle school. So um, a middle school team is defined to be anyone from year five to year nine. Okay. Um, and there's some more conditions, and sure, which are all on that sheet that I've given you there. So there's a first, second, and third, and then the middle school prize as well. Um, so the middle school team will be the, the highest achieving middle school team that's not one of the first three. Mm -hmm. 
So they come seven, and and a middle school has to be all middle school kids. So they can't have like three grade sevens and a year twelve kid. So if that's the case, they'll just be in one of these three. Okay, just because the year twelve kid probably turn, tends to dominate and whatever. Um, so yeah, so back onto the rules. So there's the dimensions. I did have it up there. I'm a bit more organized. I found the specs anyway. So it's 75 by 30 mil. Okay, um, and the and the load weight weighs approximately. I say approximately 67 grams because obviously they're machined and they're bought and I haven't actually weighed them this year, but they're from the same company that's supplied in the last three years. Um, so yeah, they're 67 grams. Um, but I'll get the kids to check that, but it's pretty close. So the maximum it can be is 45 centimeters because of the rig. Okay, um, but again, you don't want it to be much longer than it has to be. We do get a lot of kids that make them 35 centimetres wide. Hence the reason <laughs> I've got the, the section on the rig that makes it narrow a gap because it just, it literally, like there might be a minuscule amount of spaghetti or one strand that happens to be slit, sticking out, which is what it's sitting on. Well, it's not going to last, boys. Um, the other change that I'll do this year, just so you know too, the load cell and all of the equipment that is hung off the, off the rig, so off that hook, so it's it's a d it's a sorry it's a shackle that's probably about that round. So I've got to be able to get that shackle in. So if you think I should have brought it, no, and I didn't, which I'm kicking myself about. So it's about that round. So I've got to be able to get the shackle up and into this to hook it on. Now this can unscrew. So you can actually unscrew that, and you know I can hook it in then. But screwing it back on is a pain because it's in the bridge. Yeah, I'll have. Yeah, I'll show you those. So um, if they were, as Mark was saying, sort of in at an angle difference to. Well, it's got to be facing flat. that way. It's got to be so facing it down. Be it has to be facing down. It's got the hooks from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Mm, so. Because he said that he said, "Oh, you can put it in." And oh, I think what he was he was sort of referring that way or that yeah, way. Yeah. It's always uh, got to be hanging so downwards, though. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We have had a few kids in the past put it in the upside down, so I've actually had to test their bridge upside down <laughs> because I can't hook. Obviously, I can't pull it up; it has to come down. Okay. So yeah. How many people would actually do go across to try and get them in? What you're saying, because that makes it wider, which means you've got less. What do you mean? <coughs> Sorry. We are saying this way. So oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd certainly be. I'd Most of would go long, wouldn't they? Yeah, but this way. Yeah. Yeah, with the bridge. bridge this way. Yeah. yeah so then it, you can get narrower. Then yeah, you can yeah. More yeah, but the issue then is that you've only got a very narrow footprint, footprint to get it hooked into your bridge. And then what happens, what tends to happen then is as you, so it generally supports the 1.2 kilos, which I'll come back to, which I was saying a minute ago. But what then probably happens is if it starts to pull one way or the other, because that's, it's not sharp, it's not gonna cut you, but as you get enough tension in it, it's enough to start to cut into the spaghetti if it starts to pull one way or the other. Um, so probably encourage them to go that way you get more support but you don't and you don't have to have, by the way the bridge can be narrower than that plate I was say, can you have a hollow so can absolutely yeah the bridge can be narrower than the plate it doesn't have to go all the way across so if you do run so the bridge is running this way across the rig and you have the plate that way and like there's gap here that's fine that's so no problem at all car can go across. yeah and and <laughs> if i have it with like where my fingers excuse the the way the fingers are but that's that's plenty wide enough for the deck and as I said it's a it's an imaginary matchbox car yeah, yeah. so we're not actually going to run a matchbox car yeah because we're because generally there's there's spaghetti in the way and whatever. I mean yeah it, what then tends to happen is that the it becomes way too flat and doesn't support anything yeah and that's not very exciting for them um ooh. wrong button um talked about most of these things already uh, you can't use two pack Okay, so here's some bridges. So this is an example of a bridge. So this is the rig, all right? So this is a rig. Um, so the reason the 45 is because of those steel plates there, okay? So um, you can probably go wider, but you wouldn't want to. Um, so what you'll see is you'll see the, the hook here. So you can't see it at the moment in the picture, but the, the D hook, the shackle down the bottom here. So like the strings that's there, so when it collapses, it doesn't break the, the load cell. Um, so the load cell is attached to a, a, mon a, a meter. I record that like literally because it runs too quickly and I can't keep up with it. So I, I record that on my iPad so that we can slow the video down and look at exactly the mass that it, when it started to fail. Um, the, kids, the kids test it, so there's a crank shaft on the side here. Which is on a, so basically we load it up, 
if I'm if I'm a bit worried that the bridge won't support the 1.2 kilos of the load cell, I've got smaller masses to test first. So like little just hook masses from the science department, just so they get it. Because if I put the 1.2 on it and it's brittle, it'll just smash straight through. And then that's not very much fun for the kids. They don't see much. So I'll start, if I look at it and go, mm, then I'll load it up with those until we get to about one kilo. And then I'll put the load cell on and we'll go from there. Um, and I'll be, I haven't done that before. Usually we just do the load cell and it just goes, and yeah, well, sorry champ. You know, all that work and it didn't do it. it didn't even get to, it didn't even get to measure it, you know. But then I wanted to be able to get something out of it, so um, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so basically it sits on the thing. Uh, uh, no, I haven't got it on there. Um, and then I'll film that being tested. Um, if I had my laptop, I'd show you some of that. Another one. Okay, so it's got the deck. It's got the rig. Um, another one. Another one. So I've got things with this one. Um, okay, so this these guys, yeah. So this was three years ago. This is Brisbane Boys College, I think they are. So they came. So, oh, so you can see the load cell now. So this is a photo that you can see the load cell. So, so there's the shackle. Okay, so that gets gets hooked onto there. All right, and we've got the load cell, and I've got a spring just to, to even out the, the tension. Uh, and the one of the one of the team members, and I get the team to do it. Uh, they wind, and I'm just filming and watching. Uh, I hook it up though, so I make sure it's hooked up. I make sure that they can see, they're happy that it's seated properly. Um, try and do that as, as much as possible. You can see the meter down the front here. All right, so that's what I record, that screen. And then I can show you, we can, because the kids all they come over the iPad and what was it, what was it? Because it, once it fails, it goes really quick and it's a really old system. It's worth about $4,000 that it was donated to me, but it's about 50, 20 years old. Um, and I, I, I shopped around for something that I could actually um, record and it was about six grand and I went, nee. <laughs> So yeah, so um, anyway. Um, Two and a half now. Hello? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no. Um, scientific. Oh yeah. They did a really good, you just bought one. Oh cool, okay. I'll look, look into that much. I'll look into it, but even that, yeah. yeah. But even, this, is, this is good enough what I need because yeah. as I said, I record it with my iPad so we can then slow the video down and, and look at exactly when it failed. Uh, but yeah, these guys won three, four years ago. Um, 160 something kilos from memory yeah. uh, is a ridiculous amount of tension um, but as you can see it's a it's a it's a structure it's not really a bridge um, it's a spaghetti bridge <laughs> but it's not a bridge um, so, so that doesn't have a deck no, no no it's about that wide yeah yeah and that was fine that was the rules at the time mm -hmm. and they and they met the rules at the time they, they did everything else right so can't do much about that um, I'm not sure if this is going to run but we'll see but I don't think it will because I'm not attached to the internet. No. So on my, I'll give, I'll send the link to this. This is um, a whole heap of tests. Yeah, it's not running. Um, apologies, I don't have the internet to, to show you. Um, but I'll, I'll send you the link. This is um, a video that I compiled of a whole heap of tests um, from a couple of years ago. So I'll send you the link for that, and you can have a look and show. You can show your kids, students, and say this is some ones. Um, so I'll go past that. Um, yeah, so that's the basic structure, obviously. Um, just some other resources if you're interested, if I'll send you those through. Um, if you want to register, it's just through our website. I'll send you out some, yeah. I did actually go on to register the other day and it didn't go anywhere. Oh, really? Register now, yes. Yeah, so I put a little thing oh. in the contact, like contact oh, did you? us and I... Oh, good, because I haven't received that yet. Because I'll, I'll check that then, because I've well, yeah. cause I've had a couple go through and register, so okay. I'll, so I'll double check that. No. No, no, I, I doubt. I'll double check though. Yeah, no, but if, it, if any problems, just send me. Yeah, um, so I'll send you out some load hooks um, once you register, and then if you need more, now the, you don't. The kids don't have to have this attached to the bridge. It can be passed from one group to the other. That's fine. If they just want to sit it on the bridge, as long as I can access that, that's fine. It doesn't have to be part of the structure. It will be weighed with the bridge, so you can't give me a three hundred gram spaghetti bridge and all of a sudden I add this to it. So when I weigh the bridge, I will, if there's no hook attached to it, I will put a hook on the scale because that's the first thing we do is weigh the bridge. We've had quite a number of kids come in with 310 grams and they go away and try and shave off 10 grams, um, which happens a lot, um, which is fine. Um, very, very scary for the kids because then that tends to break at some point, but you know, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so if, if, if they want to just share a hook, 
and build a bridge, you know, weighing 200 and whatever it is, 33 grams, that's fine. I mean, just as long as I leave a gap where this can go through the bottom so I can actually hook it on. But, um, yeah, does anyone have any questions? Did I miss anything? No. no. Maybe just to clarify. Sure. On with, with the two times that are available on the day, yep. is that our choice? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I thought Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you, that, when, you, um, when you register, you look at the time that suits yep. you. And we if, just arrive on the day. Yep, yep. The yes, turn up. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll obviously contact you before the day yep. and say this is this is where you got to go, this is the map, this is what's here, blah, blah, yep. blah, blah. Um, I just don't know what room it takes. They don't tell me until about a couple of weeks before yep. generally because they're in season, like it's in session. So they, they find me a room and we do it there. We do it there because it's reasonably central. It's literally across the road from South Bank Station. So, or just down the road from South Bank Station. So it's easy to access. Kids can come in on the train. And you can also go and access other things if you want to make a day of it. You know, go into the museum or go to South Bank or whatever. So that's why we do at TAFE. Um, the reason we do it at my school is because it's north side and it's a bit less drive. We've got a, quite a few schools up that end that tend to want to be involved in it and they just, I know from me coming in from Burfingary, it's a fair trip. Um, so they tend, so I just open up and I just have the day and just come into my school and we'll do it there at the same thing in the hall. So that's the option too. Um, but again, if, if none of those dates suit, it doesn't mean you can't participate. So I'm more than happy for you to send me your bridges or get in touch with me and we can work something out. Because I'd rather you participate, don't let the date, the, the lack of you being able to go on that day stop you participating, if that's the only reason to not participate. We'll work something out. That's not a problem at all. The rig lives in my house. So worst case scenario is you get me the bridges and I test them at home and film it for you with one of my kids holding the camera and I send that back to you. So that's not an issue. As long as I have to have it tested by, by um, probably a couple of days after the final testing date for, for equity's sake in terms of being able to promote and, and, and announce a winner. But it can be tested any time up until that point. That's not a problem at all. And it wouldn't be the first time that I've had that. I've had people post or just drop it into my school or, you know, whatever. So that's not an issue. Uh, excellent. The hooks, um, yep. I've already registered. We're going to start construction next week. Right, I'll put them in the post um, tomorrow. I, I, I wish, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, are they on, on the way out? No, I've got them in my, no, I haven't yet because, yep. um, but I will. Um, are you, have you got, you haven't got a supply here? Have you, I've got two. I only need two. Yeah, yeah two, two it is. Then. There you go. Save, save <laughs> I've got a postage on Evident Park ones. That'd be great. Thanks. That's it. Yeah. I literally, I got them all yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. Monday. They finally came on Monday. So yeah. Very good. Thank you. That's fine. So yeah, I'll send them up. That's not a problem. How did you get first school? It's up to you. As in hooks. Yeah. Two, I'll give you three. Two, three I'll yeah. give you three, and then if you need more, I can give you more. But yeah. it's, they're seven bucks twenty each, so I can give you some. But yes. I can't, like, yeah. Um, Janice has just bought 25. Don't know why. <laughs> bought 25 hooks. Went, okay. Well, Limba bought 40. 40 hooks. Okay. That's cool. It's all good. But yeah, I'm happy. So I'll just post them. Oh, obviously, won't need to post yours now. But if you need more, just let me know. Absolutely, yeah. Um, there is a photo, yeah, so as I mentioned, what I, when I get home, it'll probably be um, tonight or tomorrow, I'll email you the link to the Dropbox site. If there's anything that you that isn't there that you want or have any questions or queries or anything, drop me a line. Um, happy to answer those. Uh, my email address is on the registration stuff that you would have got, um, but it's also on that document. I think, yeah, on the back is my email address as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I had, guys. Um, unless you have any questions or you want to ask anything, I'm more than happy to answer those. I will. Can I grab the yeah? Can I grab those off you? The the, the media things, please. Catherine, they're a bit of a stickler at TMR. That's just because I, she took a couple of photos in the background. If you're not, if you don't want it, that's cool. Um, that's not a problem at all. No, no, no. Rest in freeway. I love listening to the traffic reports in the mornings and the afternoon. I think, I'm so glad I don't live 
on that Western Freeway going home. I don't think I'll move back to Brisbane ever. Well, see, I'm lucky because I live at North Lakes and work at Burfingary. So I go north to yeah. go to work and I come south coming home. And there's not that much traffic between Burfingary and North Lakes anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah no. Nah. <laughs> I'm lucky because I live, you know, less than three k's away from the school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, it is uphill riding your bike too. So <laughs> oh, you know, it's a bit oh. Of a <laughs> <laughs> oh dear.